Okay, so hey guys, welcome back. So in this part, we're going to go ahead and do this um, top piece. And before we go ahead and get into this, we'll probably have time to do this as well. And also, we'll just do a touch up, a quick touch up on this piece, okay? Because it looks like super flat. Uh, before we go ahead and do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select everything and then go to edit delete all by type history in case we have anything going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and select that piece and let's just unsmooth this and I'm just going to add uh, make this a little bit tighter around here. So I'm just going to add loop around here and we'll also go ahead and select all these faces real quick and just do an extrude on it so we'll have a harder edge so when light hits it it will look a little bit nice and not so flat so let's just extrude that and then give it an offset of like 0.01 probably or 0.05 that's too much 0.03 what? 0.01 right I'm freaking out 0.05 should do Right, we'll just leave that as 0.05. Uh, so let's go ahead and smooth that now so you see that it will have this nice round edge. Okay, and let's just go ahead and uh, do the same thing with this. So we can duplicate it around, but um, it will probably take us a little bit longer. So let's just do an edge here and then select all these faces quick. Okay. And give it an extrude. And then again, give a 0.05 extrude offset. Okay, and let's go ahead and smooth that as well. Okay, so that will look a little bit nicer. Right, so let's go ahead and do this uh, top part. So I'm just going to go into my front view. I'm going to um, actually let's go ahead and do it in the side view. So let's um, just drag out a cylinder and get some height. If it would work, for some reason it didn't want to do it, so let's just do that again. Sorry about that. Let's just drag it out, give it some height. Okay, cool. Let's go into our front view and just snap this into the middle. Okay, and pull it down to roughly around there. I'm going to go into my perspective mode and then our side view. Let's just push this back a bit, probably roughly around there. So look here. Okay, so you got quite a lot of space here, so I'm just gonna push this back a tiny bit more. Push it down. Okay, so I don't want them to um, interact with each other. Uh, but roughly there it should do. So this is gonna be actually the uh, the bigger piece, okay, so these bigger ones. As you can tell on mine, they interact a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this one and make a smaller one and then scale it outwards. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and scale this down quite a bit. So it's a lot thinner. And before we Go ahead and do that. It might be an idea to add in the loops. I mean, these don't necessarily have to be smoothed, to be honest, but we will anyway. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to push this back to there and then scale this down a bit. Okay, roughly there. And I'll probably also move this up. like so, so it doesn't um, interact with that piece over there okay and then we'll push this one up uh, it might be an idea to actually just duplicate this again um, okay so this is our main bar and I'll just put my reference on the other side and um, let's go ahead and add in the loops for this before we go ahead and do anything else. So I'm just going to go into the side view, go to face and select all of these and extrude this. The offset 0.05 should do. 
or why not one actually okay and then we're going to use the insert edge loop tool and give it like um, six so it will split this up a bit nicer okay and this till we got to add in um, the loops on edges we've forgotten to do that so I'm just going to reset that tool and add one there and one on the other side as well. It doesn't really matter because it's not going to be seen too much, but might as well do it. So let's go ahead and smooth that. Okay. So now we can just go ahead and uh, start duplicating this around. Um, so I'm going to come out of this isolation. Go back into full screen. And let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this and scroll it down. Oops. On the that and then scale this up so it's a bit thicker. Like so. Okay. And then we got two more, I think, to do. Actually let's make this a little bit longer. Uh probably around there. And I'm gonna duplicate that one. And in my front view, I'm just gonna go ahead and snap rough it there and then scale it. Um, let me just look. Let's go and move this around there. Okay, so it's roughly the uh, width of this gap that we made. Now I'm just going to duplicate this and move it over to the other side. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. Okay, and now we just got to duplicate this one more time and scale this down quite a lot and then we're going to have to get rid of some of these loops but that's fine and this is going to sit up right on the end here okay so let's just go ahead and get rid of these loops or at least a couple of them so now delete them so shift delete H and now I'm going to select this edge loop and just move into the center okay Let's go into a perspective mode and see where this fits. Okay, and it doesn't really matter too much that these two interact here. Um, it might, I mean, when it goes to rendering, it will take a little bit longer time here because they they uh, interact quite a lot. But um, visually, it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, you you could go ahead and move this whole piece up quite a lot, but. Um, I want to have it fairly low here because of this gap. Uh, we might go ahead and move this up a bit. Let's just go ahead and push this up and then in. And then maybe push it up a little bit more just to reduce this gap around here. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's go ahead and duplicate this and then show it onto the other side. So this should be fairly easy to do. Okay. I'm just looking on this side, see how that's looking. Okay, so that's all right. Right, so now that we have that one, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that little uh, piece here, that little handle sort of thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that these are smoothed. So I just hit three on all of them. Okay, and again, you can make this bar look different or have more detail and so on. I just don't want to spend ages on doing it. Right, so after we've done this piece here, we're going to go ahead and uh, create this little handle for him. Okay, so let's go to modify and make live. And then we're just going to go ahead and drag out a rectangle. And then drag it up and just sort of eyeball this for now. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and use our insert edge loop tool to go ahead and um, add in a loop there. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this not live. Ooh. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and select that, extrude that one out a bit, like so. And we're going to go ahead and adjust this later on in a minute. So it's the right size. I just want to block out the um, rough shape of this. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add in a loop there and then select that 
and then extrude that and go into your front view. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and snap that to the grid in the middle. And then in our side view, we're just going to go ahead and adjust the size of this. So I'm just going to select them vert on the bottom and drag these up a bit. And then I'm going to select all of the bottom ones here. Push these up a bit. Okay, and that looks somewhat right. Okay, make sure that we delete this face here. And then select this, Control D to duplicate. And I'm just gonna go ahead and again, um, just snap the uh, the pivot of this to the center. So I'm just gonna hold down X and snap it to the grid in the middle there and duplicate X minus one. Combine the two with mesh combine. And now I'm going to select these verts in the middle and the merge vertices. Okay, and I don't think they merged properly. So let's just give a bigger offset. Like uh, 0 0.05. Okay, so I should have done the trick. Hopefully. It should allow us to get rid of this edge loop. To so just leave that edge. And there is some freakiness going on around here for some reason. Let's go ahead and delete the history. Uh, edit, delete all by type history. Okay, and there's an extra duplicate and that's why I was freaking out. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and add in the, uh, make sure that we do modify center pivot on this. And then we just gotta go ahead and add in all the loops for this so it will smooth. So insert edge loop. One there, one down here. Okay, so the usual insert edge loop business. And again, we're gonna have to add in some extra um, loops for this to split up the long faces. So it will smooth nicer. Okay, so just checking if that goes all the way around. Okay, so I need it there, done one side. We could have probably just uh, done one side and then duplicate it over, merge vertices might have been a little bit faster. Um, but again, it depends on your personal preference. And for some pieces, it's not always faster to uh, go ahead and duplicate it. I mean, add in all the loops and then um, duplicate it over. Sometimes it might be easier to just uh, go ahead and uh, duplicate it over, merge it, and then add in the loops. Okay. Right, so I think we added in everything. Let's go ahead and add in uh, the loops to split this up, and then we should be all good to go. So, multiple edge loops. We'll probably need like uh, three down here and there. We'll probably add four on the top. Okay, and let's just go ahead and add one here and add one there and probably add one there as well just to make sure that this is all nice. Okay, let's go ahead and smooth this, see if we missed anything. And we missed one there, 100%. So again, insert edge loop tool, open up the settings, reset it. Okay. I should be all good to go now. So let's just go ahead and smooth it now. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So again, I'm just going to check them bottom two corners. And that looks okay. It looks a bit soft. Let's just have a look, see if you missed anything. And that's because of this loop here. It's a bit far away, so let's just shove that a bit closer. Okay, that should be okay. So. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and push this in a bit more and we might not be able to do that easily if we just change that to local. As you can see uh, our um, move doesn't change. So we're just going to go ahead and, and that's because we've done the center pivot and we're just going to push this up a little bit. 
Okay, so this should be fine now. And I think we're going to go ahead and push this down just a tad. So I'm going to push it down and then out this way. And that should be all good. Okay, so we've done the handle as well. And now the only thing left for us is to do these uh, sort of pipes or um, sort of uh, suspension sort of system in here. And then I think we're pretty much done. So hopefully that shouldn't take us too long. So um, I'll see you guys in the next part where we should be able to finish off Wally completely. Okay, so I'll see you guys then.